the pain Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Williams at Jaws Fitness. Please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, today we're going to be talking about how to make a home gym, and more specifically, how to set up your dumbbells. Uh, if you guys noticed in my last video, I uh, threw in my dumbbell rack with my dumbbells, and some of them are new, some of them I've had for quite a while, and it's definitely something that when you are wanting to invest in your own gym equipment, you certainly want to look into dumbbells. Uh, without with that being said, if you type in home gym on YouTube, uh, you'll get this one by Vince Del Monte. And obviously nobody has $60,000 lying around just, just to invest in their home gym. Uh, Brandon Campbell has a few different uh, pieces of info or a few different videos on a home gym on his channel. And with that being said, uh, he doesn't really talk about dumbbells. So, uh, if you look at buying dumbbells new, uh, Weeder from Walmart definitely has one of the cheapest uh, dumbbells on the market, that's for sure. Uh, however, my first go-to is always Craigslist, and as it should be yours as well. Uh, and here in uh, Idaho, the dumbbells are few and far between when it comes to uh, finding them on Craigslist, but it can be done. Uh, see, here's a Bowflex weight, weight set with stand. Um, here's some, this is in Boise, uh, $575 for five to 50 pounds. And for me, Boise is like a four to five hour drive. So that honestly wouldn't be worth it for me. But fortunately I was able to find a much, much better deal. So let's go back to my setup. This is what it looked like when I first got it. Uh, well, first got the rack. Anyway, um, I didn't like the color of the rack, so I decided to paint it black. Um, obviously, my 40s are not on there. Um, I was just wanting to take the picture real quick. So, all of this, how much did it cost me? Well, I do want to throw out a disclaimer. I only bought one dumbbell brand new. It was this 35 right here. Everything else, I bought used. Now, as far as total price for all this, let's go ahead and, and do a quick little rundown. I bought the fives at a thrift store. I bought the tens at a thrift store. I bought the, or I didn't buy the fifteens. They were gave to me in high school. The twenties, the twenty fives, the thirties all came off of Craigslist, uh, along with this thirty five, and then I bought this thirty five brand new. The forties I also got on Craigslist. And what I'm most proud of is the 45s, the 50s, 55s, and 60s. And I will get to that in just a second. I was on Facebook a while back. And I found this post for $250. And I was pretty stoked because the guy said it had a whole set all the way up to 60s. Uh, sent him a message. I told him I can meet him tomorrow. Gives him my, He gives me his address, his phone number, all that good stuff. Uh, he only wanted, he, he was asking 250 bucks for all of it. And I just threw an offer out and I was like, Hey, would you take 200? And he said, yeah, if you'll come get them tomorrow or I'll, I'll take them for 200. So that's exactly what I did. Gave the man 200 bucks. It cost me about 20, 25 bucks in gas just to drive down there and back. So let's think I only invested 220 bucks. Yeah, here we go. He had a 10, a 12, a set of 15s, a set of 30s, a set of 35s, a set of 40s, uh, the 45s, the 50s, the 55s, and the 60s. And I only paid $200 for them, technically $220 if you add in gas. Now, considering I didn't want this random 10, this random 12, I already had uh, 15s, 30s, 35s, and 40s. Uh, considering I already had all those, I was able to resell them and fortunately for me I also sold a bench that I didn't want it was an adjustable bench I only paid twelve dollars for this bench and what I ended up doing was I sold this set of dumbbells and this weight bench for a hundred and seventy five dollars uh, so if you really want to 
throw it out there. Let's say I only made $15 on this bench and I sold the dumbbells for $160, which means that I actually kept the 45s, 50s, 55s, and 60s for a total of $60. Now, let's go ahead and, and uh, do some quick math on that one. 90 plus 100 plus 110 plus 120 is 420, and we take 60 divided by 420, and it's 14 cents. So basically, I paid 14 cents per pound for the 45s up to the 60s. Of course, the dumbbell rack came with it. Like I said, I painted it. And on top of that, uh, if you look at all the dumbbells that I have, I kept a running list of how much I paid for everything. And I only paid $210 for all of this, uh, including the 40s. They're not in the picture, um, at least. They're in that picture. There you go. <laughs> um, so I paid $210 for dumbbells from five all the way up to 60. With that being said, it's it's a heck of a lot cheaper than it is even buying dumbbells brand new at their absolute cheapest from in the weeder version from Walmart. Um, now, how long did it take me to actually put this this dumbbell set together? And I'm glad you, you asked. Like I said, uh, I got the 15s in high school, but I actually didn't start buying equipment until late 2013, early 2014. So I bought the 20s and the 40s, maybe 2013, 2014. And then 2015 rolled around, I got the 30s, 35s, and 25s. And then everything else was just within the past couple weeks. So I'm pretty stoked about what I was able to do and how I was able to uh, put together um, my little home gym with as cheap as I was able to do it. You know, 210 bucks for all up from five up to 60 plus the rack. It's a whole heck of a lot cheaper than $575, uh, five up to 50 pounds. So basically the moral to my story is uh, if you're looking to buy dumbbells and you're looking to... Um, add to your home gym, kind of like I've been doing over the past few years. Uh, don't get in a rush. Take your time, find a good deal, search Craigslist, search the thrift shops, because people are giving these away all the time, practically uh, throwing them away in, in some circumstances, and you're able to find some really good deals. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to put your home gym together all together all at once, but you'll be able to put it together a little bit at a time and eventually have everything that you want. <clears throat> uh, now, if you guys liked uh, this little home gym build video, I guess you could say, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're interested. If you haven't already, check out my Instagram. I am not as active on Instagram as I used to be. However, I am getting better at doing that. I've put just so much emphasis on YouTube recently just because it seems to be one of my greatest passions so far. But yeah, anyway, go ahead, give the videos a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.